yeah, well, it's going to change things a little from from last year. Um, for for me, there's uh, putting in place some you know some good fielding routines prior to Christmas. So a big focus on f our fielding. Uh, I think that's the biggest gains we can make really uh, after watching us last year. Uh, so that's going to be a real concentration prior to Christmas, and then cricket skills and batting and bowling, as well as continuation of the fielding uh, in the new year for those. Obviously, back home, we've got a few lads still out with injuries, and they're doing their rehab. So uh, it's a bit of a, um, a, a slower process at the uh, at the minute. But you know, come the new year, get the lads all back and refreshed, and really firing and, and really wanting to up their games. So many, how many of the first team squad are you working with at home? Because you get p people dotted around the globe, don't you? Yeah, which is brilliant. You know, I think it's you know going away for periods of six months is really good because you you know you miss miss friends, miss family. Um, Builds a, builds a bit of resilience, um, so I think that's a really good good thing for the young lads to do to go out uh, and experience different consist, uh, conditions and, 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 and take more responsibility on. So uh, I, and they all went with a clear path of what they wanted to work on. Um, um, so I'll be in touch with them now later that this week to uh, you know to add a bit more detail to that as well. Now this has been confirmed. So how long do you see this role going on for then? I'm a plug at the moment, Nick. To be honest, you know, just stop gap really until the new director of cricket is in in place, and um, and I think then he will sit down with Hugh Morris, and they will then determine who the head coach next head coach will be. You've done all sorts of roles, obviously, both in Glamorgan and elsewhere around the UK, around yeah. the world. Are you tempted to go for either of these roles yourself, director of cricket or head coach? I think the director of cricket would be a little bit too much uh, administration and not enough contact time with the players. I mean, I, I don't mind administration, but it's a contact time with players that, you know, I, I believe uh, that's what I get most uh, satisfaction, job satisfaction out of. and. Um, uh, and also, I think that's my biggest, best skill set to, to help the players as well. So, um, you know, at the moment that I can't say whether I'm going to go for the head, head coach role, or I'm not going to go for the director of cricket role. But, um, you know, I think the head coach, again, it's a change of lifestyle from what, what, what I've been doing now with the consultancy, which I've thoroughly enjoyed last year. Um, really enjoyed working between the two two sides. And I think we can spread that a little bit further going into Wales, minor counties, going helping. Mark O'Leary, uh, should he wish at UIC, you know, he's, he's got a great program going up there. And I think that's a really important thing, and uh, I've really enjoyed that. Obviously, as a head coach, then you'd be with the first team more often, and uh, so it's just a balance, really, of, of what. And, and until the new director of cricket's in, in situ, that's got to be a very strong relationship, obviously, between the head coach and the new director of cricket. So until that's in place, it, it's virtually impossible to say whether I would go for the head head coach role. But I. As I say, I'm, I'm here until the end of September uh, and, uh, as, a, as a consultant and, and just taking over the head coaching duties and, uh, until the new, new season, I guess. How much more potential do you think there is to be delivered among uh, Glamorgan's batting group then? Oh, look, I think last year I know it was a disappointing season, but I think it'll be a really good learning process for them. There's all, already one of the two guys asking about just changing this about the game, how we can adapt better to that level of cricket you know for example you know down in Sussex we got blown away a couple of times probably against the most formidable bowling attack in both divisions you know certainly with pace through pace they are they are probably the quickest in both divisions um, so it's how they can adapt you know potentially from second level cricket to be ready to face those guys and that's our challenge now in the new year to make sure that they are come the season but they will have learned a lot from last year and, and learn that the level that cricket that they need to play to, to impress. And in terms of experienced players, would you be looking for at least one more batsman, maybe? Oh, that's not my no. call at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, again, I, I guess that's in the hands of Hugh now um, yeah. as chief exec to, to look who's out there. I, so we've obviously signed Billy. I think his, you know, his character is a great uh, addition to our squad. He's, he's, you know, he's very outgoing, he's, he's noisy, he's one of those players that uh, when you play against him, he's really annoying. But when he's in your side, he's brilliant to have about because he's effervescent, he's chirpy, he won't take a backward step. He's a real character, and uh, you know he's got a decent record. I think you know some good game time. He, he, he could really prove his worth. So I think that was a really smart signing. Um,